So you might be trying to figure out what some of the best coding apps there are for your Android phone. Now, there's a couple of apps that teach you coding, which I think are great, but there's probably one specific platform I'd recommend if you're trying to do any programming. But keep in mind, if you're trying to develop like fully fledged out like applications on your Android phone, it may not be the best way to go. If you can get some sort of like, you know, app, like a computer, like a remote desktop that you can go in from your phone, then I'd probably recommend doing that. There's not really too many IDEs developed specifically for Android phones. Now, if you type in coding or coding IDE inside of your Android device inside of the Play Store, you'll see a couple of decent options. I think the ones that I downloaded, first of all, Mimo, I think is the name of it. This is a pretty decent one. I've seen a lot of reviews on this thing. Basically, it's an option that lets you, you know, learn to code and build out projects. You can change your career. There's a lot of cool stuff. And basically what it allows you to do is you just create an account and it allows you to automatically kind of just, you know, start learning more about your, you know, about your you know, coding experience. So it's pretty nice. I kind of like it. I think it's one that's great for learning. But again, it's a little bit different because, you know, it is a learning application rather than a like coding out an actual like app or coding out, you know, doing like data science or anything like that. So that's one thing to keep in mind. This is a good learning app. The one I've used before is Solo Learn. This was one that I actually liked a lot before. And this one also is very similar to Mimo, but this one allows you to actually just go through and learn a lot about programming in general and the fundamentals. Although this one and Mimo are probably the same thing, a lot of these apps are basically the same exact thing throughout. I do like the way this platform kind of held up and I actually liked this one a lot. And when I was using it, it was actually really cool. And it was something that was like really, really awesome at that moment. So. This is another one that I look at and I'm like pretty good about. So Solo Learn is another one that I'd probably recommend thinking about as well. Now there's three other ones I want to hit on. These ones are specifically for coding. So PyDroid 3 is a Python 3 interpreter. So this allows you to actually code out Python projects inside of your phone. So it's slightly different than the other one because it doesn't allow you to, it doesn't, I mean, it kind of teaches you a little bit, but for the most part, it actually allows you to go through and start developing out Python projects inside of your phone. Now, a few things to keep in mind. One, it's not the best thing in the world. It's not the most convenient thing, and it doesn't have the most features. I don't even know if you're allowed to even install things in here. Like, I think maybe you can install it, so let's go and try it. So if you wanted to, you know, bring in, like, a certain Python package called, like, NumPy, for example, I don't know if we can even bring this one in or not, but you should be able to go through, hopefully, and be able to, you know, install things and go down that way, which is really nice. But even at that point, it's not going to be the best thing in the world and it'll give you basic things. But if you're trying to like build out games and stuff, I don't know if this one be necessarily be the best one for you. But then we also have, if you want to go down a different route, which is C Droid, which basically allows you to go and code out in C++ in different languages like that. So it's I think it's built by the same people who built the other app. But this is also another really cool application out there as well that allows you to basically just do pretty much the same thing, but allows you to do more C and C++ projects. My favorite way to code on my phone though, I'll be honest, is by using Google Colab. So my camera just died, but Google Colab is my favorite way of basically coding out any project for the most part that's coding related inside of my phone. Now the advantage of this, this is a Google built, you know, website. It's not even an application, it's literally just a website. And this allows you to do more like data science type of, you know, coding, which I like a lot. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to just go through and develop out notebooks. So if you're not familiar with notebooks, they're basically just like, code blocks that you can run and it's a very very cool thing it's one of my most favorite ways of coding and you know it's available here too so this allows you to basically code out pretty thorough projects online you don't have to download an app but this is one that i'd recommend you to kind of get your hands you know if you want to get your hands wet inside of the data science space or data analytics or anything like that you can use google colab they allow you to use google's gpus and tpus which is really cool and this is probably the one i'd recommend a lot of people to go and check out and use so Overall, those are kind of the main, you know, coding or ways to code inside of your Android phone for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.